Hello and welcome to the first module of the unit devoted to Guy Brousseau and the theory of didactical situations in mathematics in the project ICMI awarded Multimedia Online Resources. This unit has been conceived by Annie Besson and myself. We have worked within the theoretical framework of the theory of didactical situations in mathematics and we have a rather deep understanding of Brousseau's work. We have been faced with a very difficult task of selecting the aspect we wanted to share in these modules. This selection was necessary because Brousseau's work is very subtle and has many aspects and has also evolved. Most of the time we will cite and relate directly to Brousseau's written texts. However, when trying to clarify some concepts, we have also shared our own ways of understanding those concepts. We hope it will help to spread the understanding of Brousseau's work. This first module is devoted to the theory of didactical situations in mathematics that we will consider as an epistemological revolution. Brousseau's work is clearly linked to a certain conception of research in didactic of mathematics. Here is his definition of didactics of mathematics in a broad sense. In the glossary on his website, didactics of mathematics is a science of the specific conditions for the diffusion of mathematical knowledge necessary for human occupations. As you can see, it's a very large definition. In particular, there is no mention of school, teachers, students. A subject in research in didactics of mathematics is not thus necessarily in the school context, but it's clearly a mathematical context. It's important to note that in this definition there is no mention of any improvement of the teaching of mathematics. It does not mean that as a former elementary school teacher, as a man and as a citizen, Brousseau was not interested in such an improvement, but this indicates that it has never been the aim of his researches. The glossary and most of Brousseau's texts are on Brousseau's website, which I show here. Michel Artigle clarifies our field of research in a recent interview published in Gascon and Nicolas' paper in For the Learning of Mathematics. He says, As the field of research, didactics, has indeed developed, particularly within our French community, as a field that gave priority to analyzing and understanding the complexity of the processes of teaching and learning mathematics, and more broadly, to analyzing the processes of intentional dissemination of mathematics in society within all kinds of institutions. We will now examine more precisely Brousseau's scientific project. In the last 17, Brousseau played a leading role in the development of the didactics of mathematics as a scientific discipline. In particular, he states the necessity to consider a didactical variety of the concepts. Quoting Brousseau's book, published in 1997, the study of didactical situations must, in the end, allow the derivation or modification of the necessary concepts currently important from other scientific fields. As examples of those fields, Brousseau considers not only linguistic and psychology and so on, but also mathematics themselves. It means that we cannot import concepts from other fields without reflection, and most of the time, those concepts have to be transformed in order to become part of didactics of mathematics. Brousseau and most of French researchers in didactics of mathematics consider didactics of mathematics as a basic scientific research, in the sense given by the International Council for Science in 2004. Basic scientific research is defined as fundamental theoretical or experimental investigative research to advance knowledge without a specifically envisaged or immediately practical application. It's a quest for new knowledge and the exploration of the unknown. As such, basic science is sometimes naively perceived as an unnecessary luxury that can simply be replaced 
by applied research to more directly address immediate needs. However, the demarcation between basic research and applied research is not at all clear-cut. In reality, they are inextricably intertwined. Most scientific research, whether in the academic world or in industry, is a hybrid of new knowledge generation and subsequent exploitation. Major innovation is rarely possible without prior generation of new knowledge founded on basic research. Strong scientific disciplines and strong collaboration between them are necessary both for the generation of new knowledge and its application. As we will see in the case of Brousseau's work, that he has organized the interactions between basic scientific research at the aim of his researches and applied research as the mean of those researches. Quoting Brousseau in 1975, the theoretical understanding of the way situations work is the aim of research and not the means to attain a practical goal. However, it is necessary to produce and to observe specific situations that do not exist in the ordinary teaching system. This is the didactical engineering for research. The Center for Observation and Research on Mathematics Teaching, CORAM, has been created by Guy Rousseau. He sometimes called the CORAM his didactron in reference to the synchrotron in Geneva. The Coram has involved the whole school, Ecole Jules Michelet, for 25 years, and you have already heard about that in module zero of this unit. The observation of cl classroom practices in an experimental setting has been extremely important in the building of Brousseau's theory. We quote here the notes on the observation of classroom practices that has been given in the Topic Study Group's research on classroom practices, IICME 11 in Mexico. To ensure the best scientific value of the results of observations, one must be able to ensure the authenticity of the facts observed. We, have, we had to satisfy many constraints like general principles of scientific observation, rules of edu educational institutions, methods of observation, quality and the stability of the functioning of the school, which necessitate theoretical elaboration and experiments. Here we find the phenomenotechnical point of view for whom all science is the mixture of theory and observation. Engineering is in fact conceived as a phenomenotechnique in the sense of the French philosopher of science Gaston Bachelard. Quoting Bachelard, no phenomenon occurs naturally, no phenomenon is given, it must be constituted and its characteristic must thus be read indirectly with a constant awareness of instrumental and theoretical interpretation without ever dividing the mind into pure experimental thought and pure theory. About phenomenotechnic engineering, Bessot points out that the phenomena taken into account, far from being naturally given to the observer, are artificially produced and observed. Theory of situation produces specific theoretical tools in dialectical relationship with didactic engineering. In his Felix Klein Middle Our World Conference at ICME Copenhagen in 2004, Brousseau made a very important theoretical distinction that for us clarifies a lot his theory. He distinguished the theory of didactical situation in mathematics, TDS, and the theory of mathematical situation, TMS. The theory of mathematical situations, TMS, is the very core of the theory of didactical situation, TDS. TMS is based on the fundamental principle 
To every piece of mathematical knowledge, there corresponds a collection of situations which can be solved using this knowledge. This is really an epistemological revolution. The aim of theory of mathematical situation, TMS, is to reconsider mathematical knowledge in terms of situations. The purpose of our unit in Gibrusso's work is to help you understand this epistemological revolution. In this unit about Gibrusso's work, we have made the choice to present mostly the theory of mathematical situation, TMS because it's for us the way to understand Brousseau's didactic of mathematics research. This choice is also justified by the recent presentations of Brousseau's theory by Brousseau himself, in particular the course he gave in 2010 in Brazil. Perhaps for some of you who has been aware of earlier presentations, this choice can differ from what you have known before but we think it will improve the understanding of Brousseau's work that is the challenge of this unit. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next module.